Hi everybody, this is Donnie. I'm back again today. I'm going to be doing a video a little different than what I've done before. I'm going to be showing you how I make my palm clips. These are just felted balls of wool is what that is. Uh, they have a stiffness to them that is natural to the way they are made and they have become quite popular in the planner um, community because they fit perfectly on the top of your planner pages and they don't typically get in the way of your planning. I guess that's a good way to describe them. As you can see I have all kinds of palm clips. I have um, gone online, I've gone to Amazon first and I've located a source I will link everything below everything will be linked below um, I found a source for some multicolored felted uh, palm balls whatever you want to call them and uh, I started out with these because they were inexpensive and because I was just starting out trying to figure out how to make them now truly this is an easy project and um, if you are able to use an exacto knife it is easy to do now I'm going to say two things you use two things that you have to be careful with obviously a craft knife of any type you have to be careful not to cut yourself I am super super careful when I use this because I am the type of person that will slip and hurt myself and that's why I have this big huge paper cutter I do not use this anymore to cut my inserts for my TNs so anyway, I did have to pull this out to make these. The other thing I needed to use was clear Gorilla Glue. It, to me, is the right thing to use. I had no problems using this. Just remember this is something that you don't want to get in your eyes or on your skin. Uh, children should not use these products. And I'm just, yes, the caveat at the, you know, we're just going to put that right here. Please be careful. Make sure you have some airflow when you use any type of glue that um, is not safe. And this, you know, since it's strong, I assume it is not safe. So have some, have some breathing room, okay? Just be careful. Um, the clear Gorilla Glue I also got off of Amazon, um, the same as the felt balls. Um, this particular one is clear and the reason I chose clear is because I'm using some of these light colored balls and you don't want it to glob up on the bottom of them where you're inserting the paper clips you want it to be clear obviously and so whatever size you make it really does not show this is probably one of my not so good ones so you can maybe see it sparkle a tiny bit right down in there and that would be where the glue has gotten to the very edge of the clip as it attaches into the the felt ball it's still not going to show because you're going to put your paper clip on a piece of paper and it it's kind of foolproof as long as you don't put too much on as you can see i've used three different colors of clips Okay. Oh, first of all, let me tell you about this because I know somebody's going to ask. Um, I get these. Uh, they were a battery holder, like you could pile batteries in here, is how it was shown on Amazon. I got a pack of three of these, so I'll link that below too. I also store washi tape in these. They stack on top of each other. Here's my washi tape, and this is not all of my washi tape, obviously, but they're, they're the perfect width for our washi tapes that are these sizes. I know washi comes in other sizes as well. A large one will not fit, meaning the big round ones, they don't fit. But anything this size, these are like 10 millimeter or 15 millimeter and maybe even 20, 25 wide wide in the tape but it's this direction that you know you might want to have a look at the battery cases three in a pack I'll link it below I can't remember the price but I've bought like three or four sets of these so that I can 
utilize them for a lot of my crafting. Okay, let's get into what I need to make them. First of all, you're going to, of course, have to have the palms or the uh, felt balls. Um, the ones I got are multicolored. I believe there were, I want to say, like 75 in a package or something like that. Um, plenty for me to have all the colors in the rainbow plus some. And um, this is just the leftovers, like the, you know, there were two of this color on each of these. And so these were just the leftovers that I didn't use. So I decided to pull these out and I'll show you how I make a palm clip with this. I've already shown you the glue and the X-Acto knife. You'll need those. And then paper clips. I have three different colors of paper clips and these are the ones that I found on uh, Amazon. I live in the boonies. There's nothing like this around where I live. So I just get them on on uh, Amazon. I found the gold ones. These are Staples brand. Jam has a lot of different colored ones. So watch out when you're picking. I will try to link this below. Um, I looked for the rose gold in the jumbo paper clips, the way this exact one, and I did not see it available. They come in different sizes. And let me just say, when you're looking for paper clips, size really does make a difference in what you're going to put it in. Let me show you what I mean. The large paper clips, I'm trying not to dump my box, versus the small paper clips. Now, some of you know what the sizes are and what they're actually called. When I started looking up paper clips, I literally had to look up paper clip sizes so that I could get the right size. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, it is To me, it was difficult to, to figure out what I was looking for right at first. But I did find out that the small paper clips this size um, were really good for like my TN and the smaller balls. The balls are about one and a half centimeters for the small one and approximately two centimeters for the larger one. Um, I also found some other sources, by the way, on Etsy. Now, if you don't want to buy all the supplies and everything, uh, you don't have to. You can purchase already made paper clips from different Etsy stores. I will link a few of those below where I have bought um, clips before. And I still have them. They're sitting like right here. And so um, I'll link them below because if you don't want to go through this process, those are some good sources. And I really like the colors that they have and all. So anyway, we're working with two different sizes. You can work with two different sizes or whatever you want. Uh, I also bought the one centimeter and they were so teensy tiny I couldn't do anything with those. They were too difficult to work with to me and were too difficult to get a paper clip into. So this is really about the smallest size I would go with. Anything bigger than this in your planner like on my Erin Condren, they're perfect. Uh, I don't think I would go any bigger than the two centimeters. So there's that. And in the paper clips, the let's measure the length. I want you to see what the length is on this. If I don't break the box for opening it up. And the length of this is almost exactly two inches. It is just shy of two inches. So the jumbo size is what I bought there. Uh, the jumbo size in the gold. And these also are jumbo. So these are the silver ones. And I just got the regular office supply. Uh, A-C-C-O, Echo, Echo, whatever you, they call that. Or the silver. Okay. Let's make some paper clips. I'm going to be using also a piece of just... Uh, thick cardboard not too thick 
this has a name I can't think of what it's called but it's easy to to find and just rip off the back of one of your paper tablets and it'll probably help even a piece of paper I've got one palm clip a paper clip my exacto knife and my gorilla glue the clear the reason I have chosen to use gorilla glue also um, because it's clear and it's strong is because this is thin enough to go into the fibers of one of these little um, palm or felted balls. Uh, it has a tight consistency of the fibers. It's uh, anytime you get wool wet, it tends to start, you know, shrinking down and, and, and all. And I've watched a lot, a lot of videos on how to make these but I'm not willing to go to the trouble to get all the different colors, so I just bought them. Um, and the reason I chose the Gorilla Glue is because I have a hot glue gun that is my best friend. I have used it for years and years and years, but hot glue tends to blob and leave white um, excess around. This did not do that, so I was able to do a pretty good job, I thought, of making clips. Okay. Safety first. Always remember any time type of knife, safety first. I am not going to be putting on a safety glove for this demonstration, but I highly recommend that you do so. Okay, I'm going to open my glue first and have it sitting handy. I'm going to choose which ball I'm going to work on and what color clip I want to use. So I'm going to put a silver clip into this red felt ball. I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and very, very carefully push it into the ball. I'm going to hold it over the top and very carefully insert that blade about a third of the way into that felt ball. And then I'm going to push in enough so that the tip of my paper clip will be able to fit into that slit. And remember, the two loops of your clip go down to go onto your paper, and the single loop is going to go into that slit that you just made into the, the felt ball. Insert that in there, not as far as the ends of the metal of the clips. If you go too far in there, you're going to lose some of the, the sway of your clip. I like it just barely touching it now this is not in here with glue yet I'm gonna set my knife aside so I don't accidentally cut myself that would be horrible and then the trick I found which was the easiest thing in the world turn this a quarter turn to open up that slit you see it's gaping open right there I'm gonna drop about two or three drops of this glue down in there I'll do two on this one. And while that's open, I'm going to take the paper clip and again, I'm going to push it down in there and try to get all that glue with gravity's help down into that ball. Turn the clip back around so that it's straight with that slit. And you can see the dark spot there is where the felt got wet with the glue. I'm going to push that back together. Try not to get any glue on my fingers. And it's ready to go. I have a little excess glue right there. I'll wipe it off and I'm good. I'll set it aside and make another one. And that's just how easy this is. Again, I'm just going to insert the tip of the X-Acto knife, work it into that felt ball about a third of the way, and I'm going to slice those fibers apart. Take my clip, put the correct end into the slit that I just made, 
and if you're not careful you will lose that slit because they it like grows back together <laughs> I've had to cut a second slit before because I could not find the original and then I'm going to place a drop or two of glue down in that hole and then work the clip back into that pushing down some of that glue down into the hole you don't have to pull it out I do just because I like to push that glue down in there kind of work those two edges together again and it's good to go and I'll make one more just because it's a video why not same thing this is the hard part to me is just getting this slit cut there's nothing difficult with this little I don't know tutorial I don't know what to call it it's a simple project I'm gonna put the correct end of the paper clip in Give it a twist to open that up hard to see I'm sorry because of its color that dark color probably does not show well and hopefully I did not lose the there it is and that's good I'm gonna push that down in there push those fibers back together And there we go I have yet to have one of my paper clips come apart but I have only just made these a few months ago and they do get a lot of use because I use a lot of the pinks and blues and that's probably about purples I guess the most um, that's what I've used so far and um, so far none of them have come apart and <clears throat> I've noticed that sometimes if you put a clip into a felt ball by inserting an end of a paper clip it's very difficult I'm going to show you how hard this is to get in here that's how hard it is to push something even as sharp as a paper clip through this I know people will put needles and things through here and um, it's just very difficult that's why I cut it with a knife I find that even if you work it back and forth it is not really easy to get those paper clips in here so that's why I cut it and glue it um, sometimes I've noticed that I've had a paper clip that I've bought I don't know the types of glues or anything that people use but um, it will come loose and yet it'll stay inside the ball this end will stay inside the ball and it won't come out but it's loose and it'll go back and forth inside the ball and that flops the, the ball around on the head of the paper clip I did not like that uh, I tried to fix it with a uh, regular glue and other stuff and it never stayed so that's why I chose the Gorilla Glue uh, one bottle of this this is a one 0.75 ounce bottle and I'm not even halfway through it and I have made dozens of these clips so anyway I look red white and blue didn't even notice I did that so anyway that's how I do it it's really simple it's easy and then I'll show you at the end of the video how I, I hang them up on my shelves you don't have to do that I showed you first of all there are some that are in a holder I have a whole bunch of the larger ones that are hanging up in front of my desk here and to do that I use the professional push pins and thumbtack supply clear tacks these are just clear um, bulletin board push pins and I hammer them gently into the edge I'll show you into the edge of my um, shelving so I'll link everything below that I've used there are all kinds of colors these are just the vanilla colored ones that I've bought off of Amazon I'll link those too uh, and then there's other sources I'm sure out there that you can buy beautiful colors and 
Uh, again, let me just say, and I don't ever want to take anything away from somebody who has a home business. I really don't. Beautiful clips are made by these ladies on Etsy, and that's where I buy mo bought most of mine to begin with. Um, please check out their shops. I will link the ones that I've bought from below, and you'll be able to, to see if you want to either invest and do it yourself, or just pick up a few colors that you might want yourself uh, for your collection. So I hope this was a helpful video. I'm sorry if I hemmed and hawed and fumbled through this. I'm not used to doing videos to show you how I make things. Um, I'm more of a planner person. So if you're interested in planners and you wanted to see uh, uh, this and you like planners, check out my other videos. And I appreciate you watching. I will take a quick video here at the end and show you how I hang these clips with those push pins on my bookshelves. And you can see all my washi tape in the background. But this is how I hang the clips. I, I like the rainbow effect so I try to like keep them in order. It hasn't worked very well. <laughs> I sometimes I have way too many of them off at the same time. and Anyway, I do try to make it look pretty. I love pretty and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.